Welcome to Fair Play Frenzy Fanatics. I'm Fair Play 2333, and when it comes to sports, you're always in a frenzy. Why? Because you're a fanatic. Victor Wambignano was robbed of Defensive Player of the Year, and he could have been the first rookie to win Rookie of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year. Now, when you look at the stats, no problem with Rudy Gobert. Salute. He had a great year on defense, but his year couldn't have been a lot better compared to Victor. Um, he's an alien, and I felt like he should have won this. And um, just look at the stats. Uh, Wamby had 254 blocks compared to Gobert, 162. Wamby had 88 steals compared to Gobert, 52. Um, and then he had a 105.8 defensive rating compared to Gobert, 104.5 defensive rating. And Gobert just had a better team. Now, when I look at the way that they vote, something has to be done about the voting. They talking about you have to w play at least 65 games in order to win any awards. I don't think that that helps at all. I think what the NBA need to do is make metrics that you have to stick into the guidelines of. You can say, oh, Gobert, well, he can make history by being the fourth player ever to win for a defensive player of the year award, so we gonna give it to him to make history. And then, well, Wamby is young, so he'll have plenty of chance. No, give him his award now. Wamby is clearly the best defensive player in the league. He clearly was on the inferior team. And I'll even say this, if you replace Gobert with the Spurs, the Spurs don't win any games. If you put Wamby on the Timberwolves, the Timberwolves would be um, the number one seed 1,000%. And I'd see them beating the Golden State Warriors record of 70, what, 3-9, and nine, I think it was, or something like that. So, um, although salute to Gobert, I can't really stand next to him. He did nothing, but the voters, the voters got to be put in check. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just ridiculous. I hate it. They really robbed him of a great performance as a rookie. They, they robbed the Spurs organization. They robbed Nike. They robbed the Spurs fans. And so many people got robbed. Even me as a fan, I got robbed. And I'm not going to lie. When I first saw him play in preseason, I said, oh, he don't look like an alien. He don't look like he what they say he is. But the Spurs being the great organization that they are, they held him back. They uh, took him off the court. They didn't allow him to be further exposed. They didn't allow the media to be able to further criticize him. They set him down, let him do his thing, and now look at him. He's doing an amazing job. Um, salute to Wamby, man. Hopefully, um, he doesn't get any injuries and he's um, in a position to where he win five or six Defensive Player of the Year awards. But who knows? They just have to get the voting together. Thank you for tuning in to Fair Play Frenzy Fanatics. I'm Fair Play 2333. And never forget, when it comes to sports, you're always in a frenzy because you're a fanatic. If you rocking with my sports takes, if you find them outrageous or entertaining, click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And don't forget to share this to your favorite sports group and your favorite sports group chat.